What up guys? Today's video, I want to talk about calories burned during training. So, I'm just making my coffee now. But yeah, I'm going to talk about basically the calories you burn during training. Because there's different amounts of calories that you're going to burn based on the kind of training that you're actually doing. You know, so not every type of workout, not every type of training is going to produce the same amount of calories burned, you know, and naturally, right? More intense training is going to burn more calories. Less intense training is going to burn less calories. If you do a workout for a longer period of time, it's gonna burn more calories, of course, because it's gonna be done for a longer period of time. And if you do a workout for a short amount of time, it's gonna burn less calories, you know? So the typical workouts are basically weight training, you know, and in a weight training session, it depends on what kind of a split you're doing. If you're doing full body, if you're doing upper lower body split, those are the most intense ones because you're working the most amount of muscles in each workout. You know, you're not just targeting one muscle group. Like if you're doing a five day split and you're doing chest on a Monday and then arms on a Tuesday and then back and you know, when you just do one muscle group a whole day, a whole workout, it's very difficult to make that really intense and so that's not pretty practical for burning a lot of calories. Now if you're doing a full body workout where you're really working every muscle group in your body, that's going to be a lot more intense because your body is working in a unit. So it's going to burn a lot more calories. So it depends on the kind of split you're doing. But if you do like an hour of weight training, like full body, upper lower body split, like a very intense split, you could pretty much estimate that you're gonna burn around 500 calories, maybe four to 500 calories based on how much you weigh, you know, because the heavier you are, the more calories you're gonna burn because it's gonna take more energy to move and perform all of the exercises. So, you know, the heavier you are, the more calories you're gonna burn. Now, another factor is also the kind of weight you use. You know, if you use heavy weight, it's gonna be a lot more intense too. You know, so there's a lot of different factors that depict how many calories you're gonna burn in a workout. But you could expect about 400 to 500 calories on average, you know, with a very intense heavy weight training session and a less intense, you know, you could, pretty much estimate around two or 300 calories maybe, you know? Then you got your cardio and you can do different types of cardio, you know? Like I, I'm i not gonna list you all of the worldly activities and tell you how many calories you burn. You can basically go online, go to a calculator and it's gonna tell you how much calories you're gonna burn in a certain activity. When you put in your weight, you're going to put in your height, you're going to put in your intensity, and it's going to tell you how much estimated calories you're going to burn. <clears throat> so you can never like accurately 100% know exactly how many calories you're going to burn, but you can estimate it. Like a pretty decent, intense workout of any kind, you know, if it's really intense, you could pretty much estimate to burn around four or 500 calories an hour. And a less intense workout, you could expect about two or 300 calories. You know, that's the basic, you know, outline of how many calories you're gonna burn. But yeah, go online, you know, pick any calculator you're gonna put in your weight, what kind of activity you're doing, how intense, and it's gonna tell you how much calories you're gonna burn estimated. The best way, like if you have a lot of extra money, you can also buy like a fitness watch or, or you can even use your phone. Like your phone can track your steps, it can track your movement. So it can pretty much estimate how many calories you're gonna burn, but that has a great margin of error. You know, so it's not that accurate. But yeah, those are the basic 
you know, outline of how many calories you could potentially burn with an intense workout or a less intense workout. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Definitely like, leave a comment, and subscribe.